welcome to episode 77 of our Family Travel Australia series. This week we say goodbye to our home state of Queensland and cross the border into New South Wales, bound for Australia's capital of country music. With so much to see and do, we are bringing you our top five must-do experiences when visiting Tamworth, including a few surprises to get you off the tourist trail. Plus, we reignite our love of the Australian Silo Art Trail and discover the most impressive artwork set against a classic country backdrop. Be sure to subscribe and join us for all of the adventure. Hey Mum. Hey Jasper. I'm just going to put it. I'm going to show you how I siphon. You're going to show me how you siphon? So, and what do you, why are you guys siphoning? What are you doing? Well, we're trying, we're filling up our tanks. Okay. Cool. <laughs> You might need some more sucking power. Do you need my help? Yep. Okay, here we go. Hopefully, hopefully this doesn't go bad. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, Daddy. <laughs> it's okay. Hit my back. <laughs> Hit Dad on the back. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so it's that easy. Tanks. Amazing. And then we're going to do it over again and drive back over to the camp kitchen. Okay. And then we're going to do it again mm -hmm. and again and again and again. Over and over again. ourselves in the van back in Queensland so anyway coming up to the border exciting it's actually uh, a pretty early start for us including you know pack down hitch up and getting on the road we're on the road by 8 a.m. I know how it's uh, so unusual yeah, I know it is it is unusual um, and of course we're about to lose an hour oh my goodness we yeah. are too so that was really the thought process for me was get on the road yeah. earlier because uh, you're going to be an hour behind before you even start. Yes. Look, not that we're really time bound or time pressured, but we have got a fairly long drive day. We are heading to the country music capital of Australia. Tamworth. Love it. Yes, I am so excited about going to Tamworth and exploring particularly the history around Australia's country music. And it is just so rich there in Tamworth. So I'm really looking forward to that. And something I think that is super cool is on the way and not far from where we are now we are going to be stopping in Tenterfield. Oh yes, another rich in history go on, location. Go and visit the Saddler. Yes. Time is a travel. And now Saddler we are to sing that to us for the next six hours. Oh, then there's a kangaroo <laughs> and an emu or something up ahead. We better learn the words. Love it. Tenfield, here we go. Bye. Okay, Jasper, what's going on? One border, two states. Yeah. So which is which? So this is New South Wales, which this is foot is standing on. And this one is Queensland that this foot is standing on. Now what are you in? State of confusion. <laughs> <laughs> two states. Awesome. Well, it's time to say goodbye to Queensland. Yeah. And yep. head into New South Wales. Off we go. Let's do it. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, that was easy. See you, Queensland. Good. Hey, Dad. Did anyone just lose something? Like an, an hour? Oh.
It's closed. Tannerfield Sadler, what are you doing having a day off? <laughs> if you've got questions about children or flowers or dogs, you just ask the Sadler. Da, 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 da. Really I need to, to learn the words now. All together. What a bummer. Another Time reason to come back, hey? I love this little town and there's so many amazing heritage buildings. So we will definitely have to come back, hey? Come and stay. Oh Judge Yes, famously known as the home of Australian country music, we're going to be exploring the best that this iconic region has to offer. So here are our top five must-do experiences when you are visiting Tamworth. Woohoo! Woohoo! Bye! Number one, the big golden guitar and visitor information centre. This would have to be one of the most photographed landmarks in Australia. At 12 metres high and weighing 500 kilos, the Big Golden Guitar is a must-see for every visitor to Tamworth. The Visitor Information Centre also includes the Gallery of the Stars Wax Museum with lifelike wax models of Australian country music stars, including Slim Dusty, John Williamson, Lee Kernigan, Becky Cole, Troy Casadaly, and many more. There's even a life-size Chad Morgan to make an appearance. Jasper just loved the interactive guitar playing at the recently opened National Guitar Museum. This showcases over 45 famous guitars from music legends across the world. There's also a photography exhibition by Chuck Bradley called Instrumental. This features a collection of guitars and other instruments from some of the world's biggest country and rock icons. A good tip is to make sure that you come early and visit Strings and Beans Cafe, which is located on site and enjoy a light bite to eat and they do excellent coffee as well. And if you still need more of a country music fix, make sure you visit the Australian Country Music Hall of Fame. Located on Peel Street and housed in a guitar-shaped building, there is no other museum like it. A fascinating archive and the most extensive collection of country music memorabilia in Australia. Number two. Getting a selfie with Slim. Known globally as the king of country music, Slim Dusty won a staggering 37 golden guitars right here at the Tamworth Country Music Festival. This bronze statue of Slim and his wife Joy is a beautiful photo opportunity and such a wonderful way to recognize them as legends of the industry. Yes, now take a 200 metre walk down the beautiful tree-lined main street of Peel Street and you can pick up another selfie with another legend, Smokey Dawson. And why not enjoy maybe one of the cafes or restaurants along the way? Regional Playground. This is the ultimate 
family fun day out, having won numerous awards as the best playground in Australia. And best of all, it's free. Located next door to a great cafe aptly named Hopscotch, it's the perfect place to cool down with a refreshing drink after all that playing. And if it's super hot, the kids can splash about at the splash pad next door to the cafe. Tamworth loves families! Number four, Tamworth's Power Station Museum. This power station is Australia's only electrical museum and is literally like taking a step back in time. The most incredible fact is that in 1888, Tamworth became the first city in Australia to be lit by municipal electric street lighting. That was 15 years before the city of Sydney. The highlight of a visit to this museum are the two John Fowler steam driven engines. The only two of their type operating in the world and they're the working replicas of the 1888 dynamos which represent the beginnings of electrical street lighting here in Tamworth. Jasper loved learning about the timeline of electricity here in Australia and we also really appreciated that this particular museum is volunteer led and they do an absolutely fantastic job. Oh yeah, I'm still kicking all that. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Good, I'm still kicking. <laughs> Is there smoke coming out of my head? No? Yeah. Number five! Oxley Scenic Lookout. This place is amazing, just a couple of kilometres out of the city and yields the most spectacular views back over Tamworth and the Peel River Valley. What a perfect way to end a day. Oh, I tell you what, and to toast our week here in Tamworth and we will be back. Yes. We are coming back for the Country Music Festival next year. We cannot wait. We'll be celebrating the 50th anniversary of that fantastic festival. Do you think that'll be fun? <laughs> might get some practice in. You might get a golden yeah. car, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Check out this view. How good is this? We have just run into some fellow travellers. We've seen each other online, we've never met. Tell us about your channel, Daniel. Uh, we're Overland Exposure, so we've been on the road four months. We've got a truck, a caravan, two dogs and Aria. Um, <laughs> and Amanda, how do you feel about it all? Oh, it's so great. Like, honestly, it's such an amazing experience, but um, we have only just scraped the surface. I don't feel yeah. like we're even... Yeah. Anywhere yet, so yeah, it's we awesome. spent two months getting out of the hunter. So. Yeah, <laughs> um, just quietly, we only feel like we've scraped the surface. Yeah. So there's a little, I'd spend two months in the hunter easily. Yeah. <laughs> the vineyards yeah. there were awesome. Uh, it's it's awesome to meet you guys, and this is the best bit, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. traveling on the road with kids. Look at that. And before bedtime too, which is even better <laughs> because they'll sleep well tonight. Yeah. Excellent. All right, let's pour some wine, have a taste, guys. Good morning, Jasperini, and good morning, everyone. It is bright and early again, making it a bit of a habit. <laughs> oh, so much to see and do. Oh, look, it's getting used to the time zone is a little challenging. Yeah, well, we're not used to getting up in the dark, dark, dark. I want my hour back. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it will happen at some point. Yeah, all in good time, though. Yes. So we have got something pretty cool today. It's actually picking up a, uh, a bit of a journey that we started back in season two. It is the Australian Silo Trail. 
this we're, is amazing. We're going out to this place called Baraba. It's about an hour outside of Tamworth mm -hmm. to see some epic artwork called The Water Diviner. Yeah, absolutely. And if you haven't heard of this, check it out below. We'll pop their website details below. Um, but basically, there are loads of these incredible artworks scattered around the country on yeah. huge silos, on water tanks. The trail now even includes street art locations as well. So if you are a fan of art and amazing things, definitely check this out. You know what? It is, it is so epic, so impressive and so incredibly talented this artwork that it is worth just wherever you're traveling around Australia just punch in silos and find where the trail is even if it's an hour or two out of your way go and do it the first one we did which was Grenfell yeah. we're addicted yeah. since <laughs> it is that yeah. impressive they're adding new artworks all the time this particular one has been funded by a group of very dedicated ladies within the community that wanted to bring I guess a bit of tourism to their part of the world uh, so we are excited to go and check this out and get back on this trail as we travel around take another one off the list yeah all right you good jasper yeah all right are you ready for brekkie yeah, yeah. are you ready for coffee yeah. uh, i am <laughs> here we go bye, bye. Thanks for watching. Please do like, subscribe, and share our channel. And if you'd like more information on full time RV travel and living, visit our website, thefeelgoodfamily.com.au. There you'll find loads of free resources our weekly podcast, caravan cooking recipes, our monthly Go RV magazine articles, and much more. We look forward to seeing you next week. Take care of yourself and your family, and happy trails. Is it recording? <laughs> it is. Okay, wait for it. Wait. I'm on string.
We're back through the saloon doors. See you, Chad. <laughs> hey, Slim. How cool is that? That's <laughs> 15,000 volts there. What? Yeah, that's what it goes. Just be careful. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. That's, wow. that's static. So that could have done me in? No, it would give, <gasps> give you a shock. Yes, I do. Like it does off carpet or when you get out of a car. Oh, oh that Should cool. we try it? No. no. <laughs> using my left hand twos. Oh, here we go, excuses already. Oh, wow. And holding a chop. <laughs> Did that go? Oh, yep, there we go. <laughs> I'm alive. Oh, gosh, be careful, my pacemaker. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I don't know. Oh, thank you. Right. You'll have a buzz for the rest of the day. Mm. If you have a pacemaker, I want you to be on. That's right. <laughs>